Hey, it's Mr. Malte. Today we're going to be looking at some skills on the Chromebooks, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So, let's get started. Let's have some fun while we're learning our technology skills. So your teacher should have put the assignment into Google Classroom. You don't have to worry about that, but your teacher will get that in there. And uh, we will go to Classroom and get started. So first of all, let's get on to Google Chrome. Launch it with the beach ball. The Chrome symbol probably pops up automatically when you first sign into your Chromebook. And you should be on Engaging Students. Now, to get to Classroom, I've put it in a couple places. So if you scroll down with your two fingers, I've put Classroom there. You could also go to a new tab. Or two new tabs, a little plus up there, which you should know. And the Apps Launcher, a little waffle over here. And then click on Classroom. Boom. Now, one thing I want you to pay attention to today is your mouse. Mine's purple. Ha! Um, but your mouse changes depending on what it can do. So if I hover up here by the, the address, the URL, the Omnibox, if I hover up there, look, that little I means that I can type in there. If I can just click on things, it's that regular, you know, pointy cursor. And if there's a link to follow another web page, look, it turns into that little hand. So pay attention to that as we're doing this stuff with text boxes today, because that means something. It's not random. Look, I can type, I can click, I can follow a link, right? Okay, so in classroom, we're gonna find our class. You should see your teacher and click on the class that you need. Boom. You might see it here, probably see your assignment right there in the middle. Otherwise, you could go to classwork and probably find it. It'll look pretty similar. It'll be you know, there in classwork. But for me, I'm just going to click on there. And boom. There's my stuff. If you ever see this is blurred out or kind of weird, you can refresh with a little refresh button over there. But otherwise, let's just click on this button right here. And teachers, if you ever see that the assignment's not there, you might see a make a copy word and click on that if it's been deleted by someone. So let's click on our whoop, name. There we go. This is just a slideshow. I'll be putting the videos directly on these as well. So let's get going. Okay, we got some text boxes. Again, look at your cursor. Look at your mouse. Over here on the side, I can click. Ooh, little crosshairs. It means I can grab something. Cursor means I can type in there, right? Whew, let's get in there. Click, see the cursor is flashing. So let's get our name in there. Remember, make an uppercase letter. And remember, pause whenever there's steps. Teachers, just pause, pause, pause. That's your wait time. So uh, if you're like, oh, we're not there, just pause, 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 pause. You can also slow me down too, but that might be kind of funny. Slow. <laughs> okay, click in the box. Remember, the shift key and the letter gives you an uppercase. and That'll help you out. Mr. Multi, there's my name. Now, when you, when you make mistakes, you use the backspace key. Find that backspace key. Make sure you know how to fix those mistakes. And also practice, so practice that backspace key, you can write some gibberish, back, back, back. I also want you to practice using, you can use your arrow keys to hop between your letters. That'll, that's where you're gonna be typing. <laughs> and there's your backspace. Or you could use your mouse to click. Right, it's good to know. Let's get our names and you can, Click on the gray. I like to click on the gray just to get out of things. Once you've done your name, you can pause it. Come on back when you're done with your name. So, see that little crosshairs? This is important because I can click. Now, I have selected the whole box. Try using your arrow keys just to move this whole thing around. Perfect. Try, see how it's highlighted? Try using the backspace key. That's not good. Don't worry. Anytime you make an, a really you know, serious error, you can go up to the little undo next to the printer, undo little eyebrow, and 
click on undo and you can get that back. So even if the whole thing gets destroyed, boom. Now you can always, oh, did I do it? Undo. When I make serious mistakes, ah, backspace is undo. So make sure you're aware of backspace and undo to help you out. And after that, you can go in here and you can type the alphabet. Perfect. If you want to be a real ninja, you can go up to this text box right here. You can put your own little text box in. So get your name, the alphabet. Alphabet's going to take a while, right? After that, you can try clicking on text box and click and drag to put your own little text box in there. So I think that's everything I wanted to cover with just typing in this first one. I'm going to do color as a second video and put it on the second slide. So remember, this could be more than one day. And that was just our typing portion. So talk to you soon.